Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of the R for Biology, Medicine and Genetics. A very strong uh, tools and uh, programming language for bioinformatics, biostatistics and computational biology. I'm Hamid Reza Abul Hassani, PhD of Computer Engineering, researcher, founder and chief data scientist at DataBiox. Uh, maybe all of you uh, know that R is a really uh, strong software uh, and very popular in uh, these areas biology medicine and genetics uh, and uh, uh, for many reasons researchers all, ar all around the world refer to these uh, tools uh, in this uh, in these episodes we're gonna go through the introduction and also teaching you how the R works, uh, what are the commands, and uh, what you can do with this, with uh, some real examples. I will share with you the uh, files during the uh, course, and you can uh, you are, and please feel free to contact me in case of any questions. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go to the introduction of uh, this episode. This short episode is just an introduction, and uh, we don't go through the uh, more details. But from the next session, we will uh, start uh, working with R. Okay, let's see what is R. Uh, as you can see, R is a programming language for statistical computing and graphics supported by the R core team and R foundation for a statistical computing created by uh, statisticians Ross Ika uh, as you can see from New Zealand and also Robert uh, gentleman okay Robert Clifford gentleman uh, R is a R is used among data miners bioinformaticians and statisticians for data analysis and developing a statistical software. Uh, okay, this is a introduction, and uh, these are the uh, found uh, developers of this great software. Uh, here it has a website www.r-project.org. You can see the new releases and also download the software from here. If you are uh, also working with Anaconda, uh, when you install the Anaconda, you can also have the R inside that. Okay. In this course, uh, uh, we will use uh, some various references. Uh, one of the great references is from M the University of Melbourne, uh, which has a book. That I will share with you in the uh, and you can also find it in their website introduction to R for biologists biologists uh, here is the book that's great and very new uh, 12 September 2022 uh, by these others and you can see the others here and also this uh, great book data visualization in R uh, quantitative methods in global health uh, that's provided by Harvard T. Chan School of Public Health okay by Amy Ju again 2022 so you can see that this is really popular because some uh, prestigious universities like Harvard are using it and uh, also many other uh, institutes around the world uh, and uh, it's very recent as you can see the uh, date okay so uh, what are the applications that uh, I think uh, most of the applications is to discover the genes the, uh, the data you can you know that there are huge amount of data instead of each cell or for example DNA or other uh, biological entity so R uh, I really enjoy using this this is really good software for uh, doing uh, some analysis and uh, data visualization also data mining 
uh, especially uh, for uh, these areas okay so let's start when you download this software from the uh, from the website you will see this our studio here and uh, you will run it okay and then uh, you will see a window uh, and uh, wait okay here we can see and for example many uh, okay remind me later many files uh, or environment from previous projects uh, we can easily have a new project a new directory new project and uh, let's uh, choose Hamid Reza underline R project okay uh, for this and create projects mm -hmm. yeah you can see that switching to projects to Hamid Reza R projects we can see uh, remind me later yeah for the update it is also just like the Python an interactive environment for example if you run these examples uh, you will see the result also just just one warning message no problem for example so you can see the results here also you can see the uh, working directory here uh, which is the directory that you are working uh, and your files data sets and many other things you should uh, put here to, uh, in order to work with that if you want to see that where is the directory just uh, just click on this or more okay just click on this and uh, you can see go to working directory which is here if you are not there or, for example, if you want to uh, make another uh, directory as your uh, working directory, but this one is okay. And you can show folders in new window. Yeah, in documents and Hamid Reza R projects. You can put your data sets and uh, other files here for the beginning. Okay so uh, we will uh, go by this uh, yeah you can see that uh, here we have the scripts you can see here we have the scripts here we have the environments your uh, variables the data sets and also uh, yeah it is like a kitchen counter you can put ingredients uh, that here ingredients are data and finished dishes here to use while you cook and here uh, uh, you can see the uh, for example files are like ingredients in your clipboards you need to get them out to the kitchen okay here uh, as, I sh as I showed to you the files here and the working directory and also uh, this is the console okay yeah so as i told to you this is a interactive uh, uh environment you can see that uh, when you type a command and enter uh, you can see the results okay uh, and i also talked with you about the working directory if you want to check it with the command uh, just type get w get wd and you can see uh, uh, sorry I think get WD uh, yes with two parentheses uh, you can see that yeah this is the uh, working directory in C column slash user Hamid documents Hamid's Reza R project uh, as you remember in Python also what was that pwd yes uh, and um, i discussed these things for you uh, i think because i wanna uh, you to also install and get ready for uh, 
the continuing of this course i think until packages is enough for this session in the next session i will show you how to install the packages and uh, how to work with them i hope that uh, this episode was useful and informative for you and i hope that the whole journey uh, would be really amazing and interesting for all of us okay uh feel free to contact me in case of any suggestions or idea and uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe in my channel and also introduce it to your friends and colleagues who may be interested okay thank you for your time and hope to see you in the next videos bye